air in Hentry County. But what is it? Nobody knows, or at least nobody's saying, why more than 20 people, including some first responders, suddenly got sick. Naturally, there's a lot of speculation, from meth to anthrax, everyone seems to have an opinion. And the efforts solve the myth, to solve the mystery have only gotten bigger by the hour. It's all happening in LaBelle at an industrial park um, off State Road 29, and that's where we find Wink News reporter Summer Senny. Summer, some neighbors are starting to get concerned about what is in the air. Emma, they are, and an answer right now is we don't know. And from what we've been hearing from authorities, they don't seem to know either, or they are not saying. Now, I just heard back from the Hendry County Sheriff's Office public information officer, and I expect to talk with her in the next hour as she gets here on the scene. But people in this area who live and work here in LaBelle, they're getting nervous that they could potentially be breathing in something toxic. Because if it goes in the air, I mean, if they just walk in there and they get sick, has to be in the air if they test that they just walk in and get sick. So it could be an air boy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> We've now learned that 21 people were exposed to the mysterious substance and nine were sick. Multiple agencies, including the DEA, Homeland Security and hazmat teams have been brought in to try to identify this substance. Hazmat teams collected air samples Thursday to test for a strange substance, but none were found. The Hentry County Sheriff's Office has confirmed that samples of the substance were sent to a lab for more in-depth testing, but those test results are not back yet. And I recently spoke with a detective today who told me that they expect today to be another long day. They're going to be out here again for several hours and bringing in more hazmat crews to try to identify this substance which is why we have now been asked to move to the rodeo grounds a street over from North Industrial Loop so that way we are out of the way of crews as they try to work. Now, Hendry County strike teams were on the scene yesterday and helping investigators execute a search warrant for trailers and buildings that are on that business's property. They're looking for other stolen vehicles, weapons, drugs, and possibly chemicals. I'll be on the scene live here all morning long as things develop very quickly. Live in LaBelle, Summer Senny, Wink News.